Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 5. And for today, we are going to make a negotiation presentation. And our situation is about a problematic student named Darren has been studying at the private college, JJ Institute. However, he has not been attending classes, submitting assignment, and was caught more than once for being involved, involved in gangsterism and fighting on campus. If the college is about to act according to the rule book, Darren should have been expelled for a long time. However, his parents are well and they have been providing much needed financial support for many of the college activities. And before we go further, we are going to start our negotiation. Assalamualaikum and greetings everyone. My name is Amruddin bin Muhammad. For today, I am the board of director representing Darren's Institute. Along with me here for this negotiation is Faizi as the representative from the director's JJ Institute. I hope at the end of this negotiation, we can find a better solution that satisfies both sides based on the problem or topic that we want to discuss right now. My name is Abdullah Al Faizi bin Fauzi, and I am a representative of the directors of JJ Institute. It's a pleasure to have a session with you today to discuss the alternative students' solutions named Darren to ejection from college due to the problem problems that are to be eliminated. As I know that you come as the represent representative from Darren's family, right? So, before we start, may I ask each of you to introduce yourself? And thank you, uh, Amirudin and Faizi, for agreeing uh, to hold a meeting to solve their problem. Before starting this uh, discussion, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Shazwan Bailey, is a representative of the Darren family. First of all, I would like to ex uh, express my gratitude for having us in this negotiation session. It is a uh, really pleasure to be able to discuss this with all of you. I am strongly looking forward to the meet to this meeting. Along with me today, Hazila is also a representative of their family. Maybe Hazila can introduce himself. Okay, thank you, Shazwan. Greetings to everyone. My name is Hazilan Bimadin. I am the representative of Darren family as well. And I would like to thank the director of JJ Institute for giving us for giving giving us this opportunity for the session. Uh, not just me and Shazwan, but we also invite Arif to accompany us for this negotiation session as a representative of their family. Uh, please, please introduce you, Arif. Thank you so much, Hazlai. First of all, my name is Arif Ben Razmi. I am a member of their family. It is my pleasure for me to speak with all of you. Thank you also to JJ Institute Director of offering this wonderful opportunity. I generally hope that this matter will be resolved peaceful and this ready. I also hope you will consider our kid Darren display issue. All right, so before anything else, I will start the discussion with the topic that we are going to debate for today's session. It's about an alternate student solution to Darren's ejection from college due to his problematic discipline. I think that we are from representation board of director for JJ Institute strongly believe statement which is Darren should have been expelled according to the rule book institute due to not attending classes and did not submit some assignment. Why did you say that, Amrude? Can you explain it more detail? <coughs> I, as the director of JJ Institute, must act professionally when necessary to follow the rule book instructed 
we say if a student often does not attend classes and does not submit his assignment repeatedly, so from that we can justify that Darren has no interest in learning or lack seriousness in this JJ Institute. So other than giving Darren disciplinary merit and fines, I think it is nice to be dumb. I agree with Amiruddin. As a representative, I can say that gestarism and fight cases on campus always happen due to many reasons. However, your problem was caused, caused more than once, which is inquired. Darren also not been attending classes and not submitting assignments, although have been alert many times, which makes us am uncompromised. I am disagree because I believe there is another solution for this issue. I don't agree with you. Every problem that comes has a solution. That's why we have to take a seat and give a great discussion to come up with solution. If Darren is still in the JJ Institute, it will make the student around him feel uncomfortable about Darren bullying, gangsterism, and fight on campus. So I think it will be better if such a person other than fine for not listening to good talk is suspended and ejection from the JJ Institute. That's true, Amiruddin. I also agree with you. It could tarnish the name of our institute on the outside. We are not in agreement science. There are maybe another solution to tackle Darren's concerns. What are your thoughts, uh, Shazwan and Arif? What do you think? In my opinion, uh, there may be alternative or other means that can be taken other than removing Darren from this JJ institution. Uh, we felt at first that we want to dismiss him but I decided with the directors that why not attempt to contact his family first to get your view on why these problems keeps recurring. If you are aware of any reasons, please share them with us. In my opinion, the main reason why Darren got involved with the problem was due to peer influence and social media influence. <laughs> Darren is a person who is easy influence, especially with things he has just discovered. <laughs> On top of that, Darren also loves the challenges of uh, someone to do something and maybe this is uh, the reason why he got involved with the problem. Okay, Shazwan, for me, as a member of the family, I feel the solve of the problem is our own neglect and carelessness with Darren. We rarely hear anything from Darren who may have intensified his difficulties when at the institution. Darren was probably too comfortable with his poor behavior size we took a hand off attitude and did not pay attention to him. In my opinion, the reason Darren got involved with the problem was due to self-influence and environmental influence. This is due to Darren arrogant, weak and capable attitude which have made him feel confident and willing to do something without interference from the institution. As a result of this incident, he has been linked to the issue of bullying in an, in an indirect way and the negative environment. Darren has been forced to commit bullying situation in the, in, at the institution. Evidently, I believe 
Darren is an innocent person who is easy to get along with individuals who are in problem because of misunderstanding or peer influence, a new environment and lack of affection from family or ignorance according to Darren's family busy schedule. Oh, I see. So, that's the problem. Well, I agree with that with what Hazlan planned where he follow up to find another means to resolve Darren's problem other than getting kicked out of JJ Institute. Not a standing semester and graduating on time because I have no problem having an additional approach but should have criteria they are definite. What are your thoughts, Faizi? We intended to dismiss him at first because of the troubles that he does repeatedly. As a result, we encourage encourage you all to have a professional discussion about these issues. Uh, did you have any suggestions for a solutions? We probably will lend an ear to you. I would like to request uh, the distraction to give Darren a second chance so that he will not be dumped from his study at JJ Institute. We will also tell Darren to always attend course to assignment and act appropriately while at the institution. Hopefully, incident like this blowing will not happen again. And for me, I agree with Sajuan and Arif that Darren deserve a second chance. If Darren continue to commit the offense and violate the established law, the JJ Institute may take further action against him. I will consider Darren's family suggestion on whether or not to expel Darren from the JJ Institute we may also withdraw so that Darren does not have to prolong the semester and can graduate on time, but only under the condition that he must attend an extra class given by JJ Institute and he must pass complete a lot of new assignment for fault that he did not finish in the past. I agree with our director that we will accept the idea but with conditions. We hope that you can understand the situation. This is the best choice that we can decide as a problem is continue. We hope that you can consider the sponsor to the institute activity soon. All right, as Hazilan said, if Darren violates the agreement, we from the institute will act without discretion and according to the rule book that Darren will be expelled from JJ Institute immediately as a result of him having missed his second opportunity. As a result of the recent discussions and suggestions proposed by both parties, we have taken three comprehensive steps that we see as successful in resolving Darren's problem. First is uh, giving the last opportuni opportunities to Darren. Second, uh, make an agreement which is rejected Darren if doing the same mistake and the last one is there were no compromise on the next mistake right so okay we are from the director of JJ Institute where you need and obtain a final majority decision in which the agreement to be signed was an agreement to expel Darren from college in the event that he got into problems again and with this opportunity. We are from representative of the Aram family. Well, we agree with the de decision made by the administrator of JJ Institute. We will also not withdraw the sponsorship we give to the institution. We give we will continue to contribute even if Darren is fired from the JJ Institute. Okay, Shazwan is correct. We will continue to contribute so that the institute can produce quality students, not just for our institute, institute but also the country. 
I agree with Sazwan and Hazila as well. We will do everything we can to assist the institution. We also regret on Darren behalf for causing so much dis- description at JJ institution. We did not expect that we would use this direction to discuss the problem and make the best choice of action. We hope that Darren will change into a good man as he can give all the best in his study without problem. The three of us would also like to thank you for taking uh, op- the opportunity and taking the time to sit down and dis- discuss with us about their problem. We believe that JJ Institute is a tolerant institute because it can still use the dis- discretion of the institute to solve this problem even though this problem is a big problem that can afford uh, to graduate Darren if in accordance with the institute book's role. All right, so everyone on both parties now agrees that the last alternative solution was to make an agreement to remove Darren from the institute in case he got into problems again and squandered his chance. Perhaps we can call our conversation to the close call for the day. Before I go any further, let me summarize all of the main points we discussed earlier so that we are on the same page where we'll give Darren a second chance to stay in JJ Institute but we condition that he must attend extra class proposed by the Institute and also attempt a ton of assignment due to not finishing his assignment in the past but if he get into trouble there is no discretion given and he must be ejection from the JJ Institute. Not to mention, thank you to Darren's family for hosting us and for taking the time to hold this negotiation session over this contentious issue. On behalf of the board of directors, JJ Institute would like to thank Darren's family for attending this negotiation negotiating session. Uh, we hope that our connection as the director JJ Institute and student parents remain positive. It is a genuine joy to have all of you here for today's uh, beginning session. Thank you, everyone. Thank you to uh, Amirudin and Faizi and I hope the problem the their problem can be solved. Okay, I also want to say to want to say thank you to the Amiruddin and Abdullah as a board of the director of JJ Institute because want to discuss about their issue. I want to say thank you. So thank you all of you.